Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Sosan Scania Vabis in the T125, which is actually my first ever um, tier 10 heavy tank. So Sosan's gonna go with improved hardening, gonna go with bond drama and some tier 3 uh, mobility experimental equipment over here. So I guess they really really do enjoy the T125, which is understandable. This vehicle is just like you're perfect all-round heavy tank decent enough mobility it's not too slow right 37 kilometers an hour top speed th that is going to go up with the, uh, the experimental equipment over here um, you have awesome dpm you have good armor you do have the huge weak spot on the top as you can see the huge capona over here um, which will get penned by pretty much any tier 10 vehicle but you have that high rate of fire you have the, the awesome dpm very good um, heat pen, actually 340 millimeters of heat penetration, which is always nice. 258 on your AP, pretty decent. So yeah, I think this vehicle, combining all of those things together, is just your perfect starting vehicle. But it's like th this should be the first tier 10 heavy you get, in my opinion. It's just the perfect starter pack for World of Tanks, I guess. And it's not just it's not just the E5. It's the entire line leading up to the E5. So, like, you have the, uh, the T1 Heavy at here, 5, which kind of introduces you to the concept of uh, bigger, bigger tanks, chunkier heavies. Then you have the M6, which is arguably the best tier 6 vehicle at the moment. Um, tier 7, T29, amazing at hold down. It's kind of teaching you the hold down tactics of the game. Then you have the T32, which does it all. M103, which is kind of like a... You know, you will need to be a bit better, right? Because that vehicle is definitely the, the weakest link, I'd say, in this line. Uh, but still, it can still do quite a bit. And then you just get the 5 at tier 10. So overall, I think this line is just the perfect line for beginners. Not just, you know, for, for anyone, right? It's not just for heavy tank players. I think everyone should start... Um, with the E5 line, because it, it just teaches you everything about the game, this line. Heavy tanks are currently, in my opinion, the strongest class in the game. They're the most important vehicles in every battle. So, yeah, if you are interested in, like, trying World of Tanks for the first time, and you're not sure which vehicle you'd like, you know, which, which class should I get, um, I would definitely recommend everyone to start with the E5. It's just an awesome starting point uh, for this game amazing starting point then we're putting these, these lovely heat rounds into the cheeks of the mouse but yeah like i said this vehicle this line incredible for beginners so yeah, you, you should you should try and get this e5 if you're just starting out so sozen is going to show you exactly why i love this vehicle and why it was my first ever tit and heavy right by, d d there we go, catching the FE215B into that awful, awful weak spot. So FE215B, um, yeah, I mean, one of the weakest, I'd say, tier 10 heavies inside the game. It does have amazing DPM, but, like, the armor is terrible. It, like, it, it gets set on fire quite a bit. It's just, it's just not good. And you do have the rear-mounted turret, which usually is a, a bonus, help you side scrape. But because you have a weak spot when side scraping, a big weak spot at that, it's kind of like, it makes this vehicle useless in most positions, right? Because you can't use gun depression like the Super Conqueror can do, because you need to, you know, depress the gun over the entirety of the vehicle because of the remounted turret. Um, so yeah, f 215 b definitely not recommended. E5 definitely is recommended. We're here for the E5, right? Switching to those HE rounds that I haven't talked about. Um, 60 millimeters of penetration, 515 damage. It's not bad, it's not good, but, you know, it is very usable still. Heat rounds into the T-41, and yeah, I mean, Susan is, is using quite a bit of heat over here, even though it is tier 9 and tier 8 matchup. So that is something that I don't really agree with. Um, the gold spam is what I call it. Sure, in this situation against the Yank Tiger, you do need it, definitely 100%. But, like, do you really need it against the lower plate of the T-54A1? 
I, I don't think so. I personally don't think so, and I personally don't like to just fight gold all the time. Uh, but I do understand people who try to go for, like, marks of excellence, who try to just boost their win rate, they will shoot more gold. And yeah, as you can see, wiggling the turret, trying to hide that weak spot on top. It can't find the Yang tank once again, but there's, there, there's someone pushing forwards. Who was it? The T-51 one, put one into the side over here. And you can just see the awesome, awesome DPM on this vehicle right here. One into the hull of the Yank Tiger, easy. And just the, the, the wiggle, the wiggle of the turret. I love this. I love this. And into the superstructure. Heat rounds, 340 pen, like I said. Delicious. It's just delicious stuff. And I'm going to be switching to HE. There we go. HE switched for the FV-405. Because that vehicle has trash turret armor easily going through that huge barn of a turret with a smile on its face. Um, I guess I guess they're not smiling any longer. But as you can see, six minutes into this battle, over 6,000 damage. And this game is, is pretty close, I guess. Down by two vehicles, down by 900 HP, down by one vehicle now. But there we go. There's the FV-215. No 183. I'm, I always go for the 183, right? But no. No 183 this time. E5 versus the 215B. It's it's pretty easy to tell who's going to win, right? SV-103B shutting down the 215B. They put one into the mouse. The very dangerous, the very chunky tier 10 German heavy. And just changed it from a 9v6 or something, I think, into 10. V9 in favor of the enemy team, they with the mouse. One to the cheek, and I said, to maybe switch on nature on to do the 22 damage, or do you go with the heat into the cheeks? Is it one to need to watch? Uh, need to watch, I don't die. Into the cheek, getting the shell into the mouse, finishing off the very dangerous tier 10 German heavy. Unfortunately, now down to only 324 HP. That's like a one shot to everyone, except for the LTTB, of course. Except for that LTTB. But yeah, things are not looking well. As you can see, all of the teammates are one shots as well. 704, 373 hit points. Um, the STRV was very low as well. On to, how much was it? 300 as well, if I'm not mistaken. SUP on 120 hit points. And then you have the Emil, which is outside of the range. So we can't really tell. But like I always say, you need to have them inside this kind of render range distance to know how much HP they have. But the 1030 on the enemy team shuts down the 704 on Susan's team, which is definitely not good. You definitely do need those chunky boy guns in the game. Emil is on 600 HP, and now it is a 5v4. TVPs are wanted, which is uh, the, the SUPM can't actually shut him down. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. That TVP is a dangerous vehicle. It is the burst king of World of Tanks, right? Like a video I made a few weeks back already. My goodness, time flies when you're having fun. But that vehicle can do 1,280 damage in four and a half seconds. That is just insane amounts of damage with the um, with the burst that the vehicle has. So do need to watch out. Try to finish that vehicle off. Unfortunately, the GW Tiger shuts down the 103B on Susan's team. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Susan and the Emil are together against five of the enemy vehicles. I guess the LTTB is doing some damage by sitting in the bushes and spotting everything. What is Susan going to do over here with the Emil worn against those five enemy vehicles? Trying to find a different angle. Maybe trying to catch this TVP. Trying to push somewhere. There's the SF-103 actually getting spotted. But by who? Where? What? Who did what? Where is it? This is this is probably where your hands start shaking. Right? The LTTB pushes towards the Emil. Emil just finish off one of them. Don't let us stay alone, guys. They're staying alone against five vehicles. Uh, okay, so it's Susan against a TVP, an SF-103. Okay. Is the STRV on the three not going to stay for too long? And um, uh, no, goodbye, <laughs> STRV getting wrecked by those heat rounds. But it's still a 1v4 with a very dangerous TVP and two dangerous artillery that can just, you know, finish us off with one shot. There's the LTTP. Try to clutch the LTTP as she gets it. And uh, don't let the run of don't shoot artillery away, away, fiends. Okay. Okay. The problem with this splash damage is that um, Susan is now one shot to the TVP. Uh, you know, that 320 alpha damage 
wasn't actually, you know, going to get us with one shell. But most of the time, but now, most of the time, they will actually do just that. TVP on 18 hit points, 2 artillery left as well. What is Susan going to do with their 269 nice HP over here? Need to go after this DVP. You can't let this DVP. Oh my goodness. Tree fell, RT fired. Missing the first one, missing the second one. Dodging all of the artillery. But where is the TVP? That is the big question over here. Maybe, maybe I would actually switch to HE over here. No, the TVP is on 18 hit points. Um, just so you won't have those awful no pens on stuff like that that can happen bounces with your AP right uh, okay what is Susan going to do sting inside the bush over here waiting for the enemies to push them another blind shot comes towards him not even close this time though so all is good okay this is a dangerous push if the TVP spawns Susan over here this might be over this might be over but you do need to do something right four minutes left on this bat where's the tvp where are the artillery Whew, this is stressful i can just imagine what was going on through susan's mind right there trying to blind fire where the tvp might be unfortunately it hits the wall in front so i guess even if the tvp was there it's no longer in that position Still trying to go around, trying to find an angle, trying to find something to just finish off the enemy team over here. And that very dangerous TVP first, right? Waiting, hoping that the TVP pushes forwards. Doesn't seem to be the case though, so if I was the enemy team in this position, I would just rush all together, right? To artillery, with the TVP. Just let the artillery take a hit, and then the TVP goes forwards and cleans up the remains. It doesn't seem like they're doing that though, it seems like the artillery are still at the back, hoping that the uh, the TVP will spot for them. But Susan is not letting the TVP spot him this time. There we go, pushing towards the artillery, but there's someone inside the base actually. Is it the TVP? Is it an artillery that went forwards? We're just going to have to wait and see, turning around to face whoever that person is inside of the cap circle. Only one so far as you can see. It shows the amount of vehicles inside the cap circle. Need to watch out on the brakes. Two vehicles in the cap now. It's actually two vehicles, so it's one artillery at least. What about the TVP? There's the GW, and if you actually had the HE loaded, this could have been a one shot over here on the GW Tiger. But there's the TVP bouncing the first one, trying to clutch into the, <laughs> clutching the TVP in the turn. But the M4043 is pushing forwards. Need to avoid getting hit, getting splashed by that tier 8 American self propelled gun pushing around the corner, putting one into the M4043, which is now a one shot. Everyone is a one shot over here. So is in the two artillery. Everybody's a one shot. The GW Tiger tries to shoot over the range but can't do it. And now it's a 1v1 from a 1v5 into a 1v1. Susan versus the T8 and 44 they're trying to use the rubble pile over here to hide as much of the tank as possible can you find the M40 there we go and an easy shot while the M4043 pushes forwards trying to get a shot first but nope oh uh, nope not on my watch says Susan getting the eighth kill of the battle and a 9836 damage just just under just under that magical 10k number but still just an incredible round of world of tanks um yeah e5 people like i say on stream like i said at the start of this video the perfect tier 10 vehicle for beginners so in my opinion if you want to start world of tanks if you have no idea what you like what you won't like go for the e5 right if you don't like it you can switch to a different line uh, if you do like it, it's kind of like, you can branch from it. What do you like about the E5? Is it the armor? If you like armor more, you can go for the heavily armored vehicles. If it's the DPM, maybe you can try some more heavily armored mediums, like the Russian mediums. Um, if it's, you know, you want more mobility, you can go for faster mediums or for light tanks. But this vehicle can just, like, it can branch out to so many other uh, vehicles, classes, it's everything, pretty much. So that is why I always recommend the E5 for new players of the world of tanks. But yeah, I guess it's it's enough chit-chat, right? Let's go and check out 
the post game stats. There we go, easy ace tanker for this 1733 base XP, and I, I stand corrected, right? I said it wasn't enough for the magical 10k, but we did actually catch the STRV 1030 uh, with the blind shot, so yes, there we go, 10,125 damage, a pass Coochie's Mail for finishing off the M4043 and the GW Tiger, there it is, Connor Banners for sending one vehicle against five on the enemy team and emerging victorious, Radley Waters for the eight kills, Steel Wolf for the 1,820 damage blocked. Like I said, this vehicle does have a huge weak spot on top of that Capola. Um, the lower plate is very weak as well, but if you keep on moving, wiggling the turret right backwards and forwards, you can bounce a lot of shells with this vehicle. High caliber, of course, for the 10,000. Uh, 125 damage done and a top gun for six kills. There we go. Just just look at the difference. 10,000 damage compared to 2,000, which is second place. Um, so awesome, awesome game by Susan over here. Firing 36 rounds, 32 of those hit, 31 penetrated. I mean, when you penetrate 31 rounds at tier 10, you know you have a crazy result, right? 10,000 damage, 1,472 of those from 300 meters or more, um, 11 hits received, 5 of those penetrated, 6 did not pen. This vehicle can bounce a lot of shells if you angle correctly. Um, like we said, 1820 damage blocked by the armor, 5 vehicles spotted, which is rather surprising. You know, you're not really built for scouting too much, even though this vehicle has a very decent 400 meters view range uh, that can be used to go forwards, try to spot stuff, but you don't normally spot so many vehicles, 12 vehicles damaged, 8 of those destroyed, and 1,818 damage caused due to the player's assistance, getting 55 defense points, you know, against that GW Tiger over there, twice hitting him right, once when it was the backside, then pushing forwards and getting him again, um, 4 kilometers travel, because like, went north and then to the center, then back north, then south, and it's just being everywhere, being everywhere. Uh, that they were needed. And yeah, when you have a decent round, you have premium, you have uh, reserves and stuff, you can also make credits. 69 nice thousand credits made in this battle, even though you know, did find quite a bit of gold. Don't tell anyone though. Don't tell anyone though. It is okay when you have such a good result, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, a bunch of XP as well for submissions, which are always nice to get. And just an overall awesome game by Susan over here. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the T110E5? Do you actually agree that it's like the perfect uh, starting vehicle? The beginner friendly line? Or maybe you have some other line that you'd recommend first? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tatas have a good one, people!